All right, so you know that you're moving to Virginia Beach. Perhaps you got orders to work at Oceana or Dam Neck, and now you need to try to find a neighborhood. Well, you're in luck because Amy and I are going to be taking a few through a tour of five great neighborhoods in Southern Virginia Beach. So stay tuned. And welcome back to Real Estate in the 757. My name is Jennifer and I am a local real estate agent here in Virginia Beach. And my name is Amy and I'm the broker and owner of Remax Alliance in Virginia Beach. And today we are going to take you through five awesome family-friendly neighborhoods here in Southern Virginia Beach. Um, all different price points, probably from about 200 up until about 450. So we do lots of videos about living in the 757. So if you like videos like this, seeing neighborhoods, hearing about great events coming up in our area, make sure that you click like on this video and hit that subscribe button and that little bell as well so you'll be notified each week when we have a new video. So welcome to Ocean Lakes. Ocean Lakes is right outside the front gate of Dam Neck in Southern Virginia Beach. This is a great neighborhood. It's huge. Uh, it's comprised of both townhomes and single family homes. It ranges in price from 175, 185-ish for the townhomes, all the way up to mid twos and even some low threes for the single family homes. It's a great place to come looking if you're looking for a single family home. Uh, some of the nice things about Ocean Lakes, there's pool, there's a neighborhood pool, there's tennis courts, there's a clubhouse, there's parks throughout the neighborhood. And then one of the other great things is that there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of parks and lakes. So Ocean Lakes is named for all the little lakes in the neighborhood and some of them are even stocked so you could take your kids out fishing. So now we're in Ocean Lakes townhomes. These are true on townhomes, they're not condos so you don't have a condo fee in here which is really nice. These uh, range in price from 175 ish without a garage all the way up to probably 225 230 with a garage. Their square footages are anywhere from 1300 to about 1900 square feet. So fairly average in the square footage department. You get a small backyard with a lot of them, so you do have a little bit of grass if you've got a pet. And, uh, and it's a really nice community if you're looking to stay under 250. It's a great option. You're really close to Dam Neck and you're part of the Ocean Lakes community as a whole. So the other section of Ocean Lakes is single family homes. And this neighborhood stretches on for miles. And uh, there are single family homes ranging from low 200s all the way up to low 300s. This is a great place if you're looking to get into a starter home or if you really want a single family home and you're trying to stay under three, you can occasionally find some of the ranch homes uh, with the nice high vaulted ceilings without a garage and you can get in here under 300,000. If you are looking between three and 325, you can get a, a two story home with a garage here in Ocean Lakes. It's a great community, close proximity to the bases. And again, a lot of children and a lot of families in this neighborhood. So um, it's a really great neighborhood for that, you know, sweet spot of mid twos to mid threes. So right now we're in Southern Virginia Beach. We're just a couple minutes from the front gate of Dam Neck Naval Base. Uh, there's a whole bunch of great neighborhoods out here, especially if you're a first time home buyer. Uh, there's both single family homes and townhomes and condos out here, lots to choose from. The neighborhood we're in right now is called Pine Meadows and it butts up against Ocean Lakes. And uh, there's several neighborhoods in this area actually that are really cute. Pine Meadows is one of them. These are all single family homes. They range in price from 300 to about 350. Uh, they were mostly built in the 1980s. There are ranches, there are two stories, um, a good selection of homes in here, and it's a really pretty neighborhood. So one of the things I like about Pine Meadows and Ocean Lakes and a couple other neighborhoods out here is some of the ranch houses that are located in these neighborhoods. I like to call them wow houses. From the outside, they look like small, you know, 15, 1600 square foot ranch homes. They're great starter homes. They're very affordable. However, I call them wow houses because when you walk in, usually the first words out of my client's mouth is, wow, this is so much bigger than I thought it was gonna appear. They all have uh, vaulted ceilings. Some of them have skylights, but the vaulted ceilings give us a really nice dramatic impact when you walk in and it appears a lot larger than the home actually is. Welcome to Castleton. This is right outside the back gate of Oceana. So um, you're probably a five minute drive to work if you're working in Oceana, maybe a 15 minute drive to Dam Neck. 
So we're in Southern Virginia Beach. Castleton is a neighborhood that forms one giant circle and there's several villages off of Castleton, all in different price points. Uh, there are both townhomes and single family homes. Um, beautiful things about this neighborhood. First of all, the streets are tree lined and the big circle um, is lined with the villages with little white picket fences. So it's very pretty as you first enter. It also makes a great neighborhood if you're pushing a stroller or you wanna go for a walk or run with the kids. It's a very family friendly neighborhood um, and you can run or bike around this loop. There's sidewalks everywhere. So great neighborhood if you're looking to be close to the base. So the price points of this neighborhood, there are gorgeous townhomes uh, with one car garages and those range anywhere in the uh, mid twos typically, depending on the condition that they're in. And then you have several villages with single family homes and based on the size of those homes and which village you're in, the prices can range anywhere from mid threes to mid fours. Um, your largest village, largest homes maybe, um, getting close to five, but to be honest with you, most of the stuff in here is probably mid 300s. Um, the occasional 400, 450 for the larger homes. Uh, the villages are different sizes and some of them circle around little man-made lakes, which is really pretty. So pros and cons of this neighborhood. The pros are you're really close to Oceana. It's a short five minute commute, as I mentioned earlier. You also have a lot of square footage for a town home. Uh, there's a lot of space in these. Some of them have dual masters upstairs and downstairs with walk-in closets and lots of storage. So there's some really cute floor plans in here. The cons, you are definitely a condo still. And so you have condo fees right now that are approximately $260 a month. And then you have a HOA fee, a homeowners association fee of $33 a month. And that's for the greater Castleton. That condo fee does include membership to the uh, neighborhood pool. Uh, but you do have a condo fee, so that's something to keep in mind when you're looking here. All right, so now we're in King's Cross, one of the little villages in Castleton. There's uh, several villages here, four or five different villages, and they're priced at different price points based on the average square footage of that particular village. All of the villages form circles. They're all surrounded by white picket fences and tree-lined streets. Uh, you'll see lots of people out walking their dogs, pushing strollers. It's really a great, great area to live. The price range in these villages ranges anywhere from you know low 300s up to the high 300s and some of the larger villages in the back of Castleton uh, will get into the mid 400s because they're they're larger homes. Alright so a couple additional facts about Castleton. You are in a homeowners association so you will have homeowners association fees. They're about $33 a month or so. Uh, it does not have a neighborhood pool with the exception of the townhomes at the front that are condos. Um, so the rest of the neighborhoods do not have any amenities necessarily. Uh, the, you are close to Oceana. Occasionally you're gonna hear jet noise. You're, one in, you're in one of the middle jet noise categories that we have here in Virginia Beach, uh, which Jen and I would be happy to explain at a later time, but um, it's not real bad. Just occasionally you hear the, the occasional F-18 fly overhead, um, but it's not something that's gonna bother you or that, that you won't get used to after a while. So welcome to Red Mill. This is actually one of my favorite neighborhoods in Virginia Beach. Uh, it's very much probably one of our hottest markets in Virginia Beach. The homes in here range from 300 to 400,000. You have both ranches and two-story homes. They're a little bit bigger and a little bit further spaced apart than Ocean Lakes. You have more two-car garages than one-car garages and uh, bigger driveways so you have less cars in the street. It's a beautiful neighborhood. Like some of the other neighborhoods we've been in, you get tree-lined streets, you're close to restaurants, shopping, parks, lots of amenities around here. And this is a really great neighborhood to look in if you're in the mid 300,000s. Welcome to Pine Ridge. We are right next to Castleton, another neighborhood that we're featuring in this video. Pine Ridge is a collection of single family homes. It is in the heart of Virginia Beach. The homes in here range anywhere from 350 on the low end to 475,000 on the high end for the larger all brick homes. Most of these homes were built in the 1980s um, and it's a beautiful, also tree lined neighborhood. You get a lot of trees and it's a very family friendly neighborhood with sidewalks through most of the neighborhood. So you see a lot of people again, out running, pushing baby strollers, that type of thing. So one of the really unique features about this neighborhood is that it is the first neighborhood in Virginia Beach and only neighborhood as of yet 
to be designated as a pearl neighborhood. And what that means is greater than 30% of the houses in here have been designated as pearl homes. And a pearl home is a home that's um, agreed to take special environmental precautions to both protect our environment and the watershed and the rivers and lakes around here. So they've either installed rain barrels or they've agreed to use um, an environmental friendly fertilizer, or maybe they've changed their waste consumption. But um, there's a couple different wickets that they have to meet and agree to, and then they fill out an application and they get designated as a pearl home. And when more than 30% of the neighborhood has been designated as a pearl home, you win the pearl neighborhood designation. So there's no way that we could cover all the beautiful neighborhoods in one video. So if there's an area that you're looking at and you'd like more information, please don't hesitate to reach out. Right, you can call us, text us, or email, whatever your preferred way of contact is. And don't forget, we're a veteran-owned company, so if you're military and you're PCSing to the area and you have questions about the bases or the amenities, please give us a call. And make sure to hit that subscribe button and that little bell down there, you want to click that so that you'll notify each week we do new videos because we do more videos just like this one. Until next time.